Yes, Chris, in uh, skating terms, the the buzz right round the rink has been the withdrawal of the Russian couple. All sorts of rumours abounding and uh, not confirmed, but uh, a genuine uh, gossip here is that they have been given a three-month ban for Elena testing positive. I have to say, when you, when you think of her, we're going to see later on the highlights of... Uh, she and Anton winning the World Championship last year. And, and when you see that, it's almost impossible to, just, to think of this little thing using a stimulant uh, as an advantage. And I'm absolutely sure in my own mind that she did. But the rules are rules. They made a mistake. She's tested positive, and it has to be done. I think it's uh, pretty much sent shock waves across the sports. And I think most people think, like you, that you know it's incredibly sad and unbelievable to think that uh, anything could have been underhand there i'm sure it was uh, an innocent mistake and uh, they will, they've learned a tough lesson yes and the coach absolutely okay. tomorrow it's amazing isn't it when you think of the experience that tomorrow has got yes. to make that sort of mistake we had to come up here obviously there was a press conference going on as we were preparing the last few minutes for this broadcast but she was uh, uh, apparently saying that she might have been remiss and i think she felt a little bit of guilt because obviously she's the experienced campaigner in that camp yeah. but but she hadn't had to deal with anything like that in the past. A, a cough mixture is what we understand to be uh, the guilty factor in it. Yeah, I'm sure it's uh, very difficult. You've, all the athletes have to check thoroughly exactly what they're taking for, for any illnesses. And that's why it's so important to go to the, uh, the team doctor if you can. A bit of disappointment and uh, disappointing for the, the fans that have come here in the hope of seeing uh, Bereshnaya escape. Yeah, and Sigurdsson. Oh, and Sigurdsson. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be too sexist about <laughs> <No>. this. <laughs> but they are the class act. I mean, they're going to have immense competition here. And they may not have won. They very possibly may not have won. Yeah. But uh, they were the favourites coming and They were breathtaking, weren't they, in Vienna? They certainly were. And, you know, win or lose, it's just great to see them out there on the ice. Always adds so much to a competition. And just uh, looking at the way this one started, it's going to be a real battle royal. No British couple here. But that's been part of the course in the last few years. Yeah, I think the uh, British couple uh, competed European Championships. It was a, a learning uh, experience for them, and uh, they'll have gained great experience from competing there. Uh, but they've got a lot of work to do, and they know that. And uh, they'll be working their socks off back home for next season. None of the couples in this particular group will uh, threaten for a medal, although the Chinese pair are improving rapidly. It'll be very interesting to see how they go. Belenkova and Dlabala from the Czech Republic haven't been in the top ten yet in World Championships, although they've done pretty well in European, seventh in 99 and ninth this year in Vienna. Just a reminder, the next group after this, we're going to have a resurface in the group after this. You will see uh, many of the big names coming up. Abit Boll and Benadi, Peggy Schwartz and Mirko Muller, and Christy Sargent and Chris Wirtz. And also in the resurfaces, we're going to be uh, very busy showing you highlights of uh, last year's first two couples, Berish Naya and Sigalitsa. And also we'll show you Zhu Shen and Hongbo Zhao from China show you their free program from last year which won them the silver medal in Helsinki and in the second resurface we'll show you highlights from the qualification the uh, two winning performances from uh, Stoiko and Jagodin winners in their respective groups now there are Zhu Zhen and Hongbo Zhao winner of the Grand Prix series this year Sorry, uh, it's Queen Pang and uh, Yan Tong who were uh, runners up to Zhen and uh, Zhao. But very promising. They certainly are with the Chinese at the moment. You just uh, don't know what to expect. And look at the height on that throw, Triple Salco. But she couldn't control the landing, but uh, that gives you an idea of uh, what you've got, what's in store here. Phenomenal talent. Here's a look at that again from a different angle. 
see the energy he puts into it. And it is so difficult for the girls to stop the rotation and uh, keep control. The length of those throws and the speed that they're going at when they hit the ground is uh, it, quite unbelievable. It really does make the sport very, very spectacular. And we have seen disappointing uh, nights, haven't we, in the pair short? Yeah, we have. There's so much pressure out there. And uh, the couples are pushing themselves to the absolute limit. This is just about the weakest group, this. Don't expect the standard necessarily to improve as we go through. It's a random draw, and the top skaters could be drawn anywhere. So that's the end of the warm-up for this group. And remember, competitors from Estonia, China, and the Czech Republic.